Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuff here. Other half. Other half up in this piece. Aster Place. Aster Place IPA. It's the Double Dry Hopped India Pale Ale. Coming in at... 6.2%. Okay. Um, Citrate, Nectaron, and Cashmere. Hazy IPA brewed with hand-selected. Blend of hops giving notes of big tropical fruit and citrus. And it's like hanging out in a produce lab. Um... Yeah, I haven't seen this beer um, in Jersey. I went over to the PA and I saw it and I had a, a, like a ton of it and it had a Wegmans. I can't get the date on here. It looks like 1-30-2024, if that's the case, it's just about a month old. Um, and I want another half GM, 6.2%. Let's do it to it. So I'm trying to do this thing where I'm switching. I'm switching the can over to here because it might really make sense, but I like to pour it in my right hand so you're going to have to excuse my awkwardness. So what I should do is still bring everything in from this end. I can pour, like I normally pour, badly, is how I normally pour from this end. Talk about the label. I weirdly love this label. It's kind of a big departure uh, from what other half typically does. You get your big um, Statue of Liberty there, kind of like a bit more of kind of like an abstract graphic background. I know they're abstract, this is a thing, but it's a bit more painted. And there's something about this that just I dig that is not normally what they do, so... I dig it. Anyway, so we're a fan, beer-wise. That looks spot on. It's exactly what I want, a six and change percent hazy, more specifically from other half. Well, pretty much from everybody, but other half, that's what I want. Pinky finger. White's white could be soft, creamy, fluffy, blue, 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 blue. Beautiful is the word I'm going for. The head there with that rich kind of peach, juicy kind of core to it. It's good news. Oh man, that smells good. I don't. I could sit here and make fun of that produce aisle comment, but yeah, I mean that's that's fruit market right there. Um, just straight up juice, juice, and all the juice, hard bologna, the juice. You know, running the gamut from your citrus to your stone to your tropical, and that is not a negative. That's not like a menage of generic-ness here. Everything's bursting at the seams from every portion, at least aromatically. <sighs> I couldn't even tell you a liter in the clubhouse. Everything here is not just vibrant juice-wise, but also cranked up. Everything's kind of tipping that needle, touching the red. Mmm. 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 That smells like the good stuff. I'm just diving in. I, I, I got it. Cheers, y'all. It's good. Nose is better. It's still a very tasty beer, though. Aromatically, it's busting at the seams. Taste-wise, it's very, very, very good. Especially when you remember, okay, we're at 6.2 here. Now, take that with a grain of salt. You know, there's some really vibrant, bursting other half beers at 4 5%. But aromatically, this comes off as like pushing 8%. It's just super vibrant, juice on juice on juice. Super New England haze. And the taste... It just, everything here is just a little bit less than what you expect based on how vibrant the nose is, but it's all still there. I shouldn't lean on it or talk about it or allude to it being something negative because it's not the case by any stretch of the imagination. But man, if it followed the nose, that would be like all-time epic. Anyway, um, citrus leaning for me in a taste, followed by stone fruit, and then followed by um, uh, tropical fruit, Still there, but tiered like that for me. And there's almost like a like a pineal, pineapple, lemon, lime, citrus thing leading the way. Followed by a little bit of sweet and kind of peachy juice. And then a little bit of mango tropical kiwi thing going on here. There's a generic bittering. It's acting as a balance. Fine by me. It's New England through and through with a touch of bittering just to act as a balance. Really nice mouthfeel. It's not going to be confused with turbid or thick or dense, but it's never going to be confused with thin. It has this nice softness to it. lends itself to being drinkable. Again, 6.2%. You want these to be drinkable. Done. Done. We're done. That's it. I don't have to say anything else. End of review. See you later. No. But no, that's it. And honestly, it, you know, <laughs> it's delivering what it's delivering. Sure, the nose is a bit bigger than the actual what you're drinking, but it's it, it, it's not like it drops off completely and there's a beautifulness to the way it drinks. It's just you're teased so tantalizingly by that nose. You want it to burst like that. And it just falls a little bit short, but again, not in a negative way. Um, just becomes almost more summary of a drink. 
um, instead of being just this huge over the top 6% monstrosity of coolness, it is now just like summer in the glass. That is really, really tasty and really fun. You get to huff it a little bit more because of the aromatics and then dive right into that taste and enjoy it all. Yeah, not in a bad way. I dig it. It's one of the cooler aromatic beers I've, I've had hop-wise in quite some time. Um, Taste-wise, it's not shabby. It's one of the better hazies I've had. It's Lazy Mount Rush for status. Low ABV, it's eaten towards the top, you know, especially talking about sub six and a half. It's not Mount Rush for status, but very tasty beer. Um, value and availability on this, again, bought it on Wegmans off of Shelton, Pennsylvania. I want to say it was 17 bucks. Kind of rings a bell. Um, you know, I would take, you know, $13.99 forever and ever over this. Um, just because at a price point. But if you got this down to like sub 15, sub 15, I'm, I'm buying it actually on a reg. I am. Um, and leave you with if you like what well, we like this. If you like summer in the glass, hazies. You like other half, you like mouthfeels, you love aromatics. It's your boy. There it is. Or girl. Or they or them. Anything in between. Whatever you want to call it. Call it whatever you want. Anyway, so there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, other half, have you been to the brewery? Have you been to the 4,700 and 633 million breweries on Earth and different planetoids and universes and multiverses? Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, have you been to what? I've been to two. I've been to Brooklyn and I have been to Finger Lakes, Rochester. Um, have you been to those? Have you had this beer? What's your favorite other half beer of all time? Down there. Hopefully enjoyed. Hopefully enjoying a little bit of the half right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers, y'all.